Welcome back. You're watching KTN Prime. Now, ODM's newly appointed chairman, John Mbadi, says the running of the affairs of ODM will change drastically with the crop of youthful leaders at Orange House. Now, speaking to KTN's Aaron Cheng, Mbadi says that the botched national elections of last year tainted the image of the party and new structures will be put in place to ensure that internal democracy in the party is restored. But I don't know if it's late, but uh, I would wish to congratulate you on your post as the chairman of uh, ODM. You are a new crop of young ODM leaders who have uh, just assumed office. Uh, maybe you could start by telling us how differently are you going to run the affairs of ODM? Uh, we must make a difference. One of the things that has been talked about a lot concerning ODM is the secretariat. Uh, we are prepared and ready to revamp and restructure the Secretariat to be res responsive enough and to take up to challenges that face a vibrant and uh, uh, party with such huge or large membership uh, in the country and a party that I think can pride itself as the only party with, uh, um, with the connections uh, almost everywhere in this country. Well, let me take you uh, a little bit uh, behind. Uh, how you were elected, the process. Yes. Yes. I don't know if you you are elected or you are nominated, you are appointed, but uh, there has been controversy on how the current crop of uh, uh, leaders who are occupying orange uh, offices, you, Ababu Namwamba and the rest, how fair was that process? Because there are squabbles inside ODM as to how that process was conducted. We realized there was too much division in the party. Now, what happened is National Governing Council met immediately thereafter, I think a day after, or a few days after, at Orange House, and we agreed that the National, the national, delegates, uh, national Governing Council therefore mandated that the, the, uh, the party leader, who was legally still in the office, together with a few members of NEC, because uh, you'll remember, uh, you'll recall that there were some people who were elected uh, and opposed, and then there are some constitutional officers, like, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the parliamentary group secretary is a constitutional office in the party. It is the chief whip and all that. So these members were tasked, together with the party leader, to look for ways of harmonizing the two groups. Because it was evident when we were at Kazarani that there were two groups. And the National Governing Council deliberated and agreed that that division was not healthy for the party. And therefore, the party leader, together with the, the interim neck, was mandated to go ahead and harmonize the two groups. ODM has been accused of uh, giving direct nominations and that puts to question the internal democracy in uh, ODM. Let me put it that a lot of Kenyans have been very unfair to ODM. The only time I can remember that ODM has given, I know there are cases where ODM has given direct nomination in the past and so is other, uh, so are other political parties without acrimony. I know where now uh, ODM is being accused of giving direct nomination is Omar Bay, Senate seat. This is where we've had acrimony. In fact, in the past, the acrimony has been that we have conducted election which has left some people dissatisfied. Note that we have not been conducting elections. ODM is probably the only party that has been conducting primaries with problems, yes, and we admit, and that is why we want to improve our nomination procedures, nomination rules and processes. But obviously, in Badi, it has uh, given the party a wrong image because you cannot deny that uh, the party, there is a fallout in the party because uh, some of the candidates who are vying on ODM, who wanted the nomination ticket for ODM, have gone to other parties and uh, they are busy campaigning against uh, ODM. If I am lying, I would want to hear any of those candidates who will stand in front of a camera and tell Kenyans that he did not agree to direct nomination. And if he did not, ag if they all agreed to direct nomination, then where did we go wrong? I hear people talking about we agreed on some way of uh, getting that candidate, that that person should have been very loyal to the party, as, uh, having supported the party for so long. Let me ask you. In terms of that subjectivity, how would you judge that we made a, a wrong decision? Let's talk about Kajiado Central by election. And uh, Jubilee is saying, Cod, forget about Kajiado Central. We are taking that seat from you. Unless they're planning to rig, then they could tell us to forget it. 
if it is an election, they cannot tell us to forget it. It's a campaign. The Kajiado Central was our seat. The membership, the people who voted for Ntaiseri on ODM are still living in Kajiado. Uh, even if some have passed on, uh, but the majority of the voters are still the same. So, so no one can come and tell us uh, that we should keep off and, or, or, or forget about Kajiado. It's going to be a battle. And let me tell you, in any battle, people will come chest thumping. But what, 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 is, what, the, what, what we are waiting to see, the outcome, what is important is what IBC will declare. All right. So this uh, will come out when? 